If you're not interested in reoccurring stomach issue from all those antibiotics, well this video has got you covered with a simple three step skincare routine. Before you go and switch off this video because you think you're just too manly to have a skincare routine, well why don't you ask yourself if you want to stop training due to skin infections. Moisturizer, or what we call bee cream, is going to be our foundation when it comes to our skincare routine. So the skin works by just keeping a barrier from the outside, but the only real way we can do that if our skin is properly hydrated. If our skin starts to dehydrate, what happens is it starts to get red and cracked and that's gonna stop it from being the barrier keeping us safe from our training partners. Our skin also loses the most moisture right after a hot shower, and for BJJ athletes, that means right before and after training. For me, I have two products I use for my face and one for my body. In the mornings, I like to use my Cetaphil moisturizer with sunscreen, and we'll talk more about sunscreen later on in the video. But in the nighttime, I use my daily moisturizing lotion, and finally, for my body, I like to use the CeraVe moisturizing cream. You can get all three of these at pretty much any drugstore, I even buy some of them at Costco. So if you want it in bulk and cheap, well, there you go. Now the reason these are good is because they have ceramides and hyaluronic acid. And now those are gonna be important when it comes to cleaning and keeping our skin fresh. And finally on moisturization, please stop buying these terrible tea tree based soaps. Tea tree might feel and smell clean, but really it's drying our skin out. And if you listen to anything I just said, having dry skin is probably the worst thing we could do as a BJJ athlete. So stop spending 12 bucks on some stupid bar of soap when you can go to the store and spend 12 bucks on some nice moisturizer. If you enjoy staying off antibiotics and having nice skin, subscribe down below. Now let's get into sunscreens. Sunscreens are really important because they stop something called photo aging. Why is that important to stop? Well, just think about it. When you get old, stuff doesn't work as well. And that's the same thing with our skin. Now this happens even if you're just getting tan. You don't have to be sunburnt to start photo aging. Also, this just adds another layer that the bacteria is gonna have to get through to get to our skin. For my face, I like the same one. It's got sunscreen and moisturizer in one package. Makes it easy. You could buy something like the Sun Bum Mineral Tinted Oil, and that's good, but it's just an extra step, so I don't choose to do that. For my body, I like the Sun Bum 50 SPF Broad Spectrum. Now, broad spectrum is important because we need to be protected from both rays, UVA and UVB. Now, on the topic of SPF, the higher the better. As we go higher, that white tint starts to come out more and more. So I'd stick with around 50 to 30. Most of the time you aren't applying enough to even get the full 50 to 30. So just applying throughout the day is gonna be really important. Moving on to our final step is gonna be the cleanser. Now, why is a cleanser so important, especially for jujitsu athletes? Well, one, it's just gonna clean your skin. But two, if our partners are covering our body and our face, it's likely that their sweat, dirt, and sometimes even blood is gonna get into our skin. So we need something that can deeply clean that. Now it's important that when we're buying a cleanser, we look for one that doesn't just strip everything off, but also helps rehydrate the skin. Your skin should feel soft and smooth, not harsh and tight. Things like hyaluronic acid and ceramides are what gonna help continue to keep those healthy fats in our skin nice and strong. For my face wash, I like this La Rose Poget. It's also this CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser. If you find you have sensitive skin, this one might be a little bit better for you. And finally, for my exfoliating one that I only really do twice a week, I just use the La Rose Posay medicated gel cleanser. Now for our body, this is really important because this is where we tend to see a lot of skin disease happen. I like to use the Dove Deep Moisture. It's gonna help replenish the moisture levels in my skin, but it also keeps me super, super clean. And remember, when we're washing our body, we need to use a loofah. All right, just like any of my other videos, I wanna give you the step-by-step -step on how to use this info. Every morning, I get up pretty early around 4.30 a.m. to go to the gym. And what I do is when I get home from my workout, I immediately go and wash my face with some warm water in my cleanser. Then I apply my sunblock moisturizer. I just like to apply enough till my skin starts to feel hydrated. Around 9.30, 10 o'clock, I go to take my first shower and that's right before I go to training. Now, why do I shower right before training? Well, the reason for that is because I want my skin to be the most hydrated when I'm training. It's also just gross to show up to practice dirty. Right after I get out of the shower, I like to apply a pretty heavy layer of the moisturizer. Now for me, I apply the heaviest on the parts that my rash guard isn't covering. Now training's over and I've just gotten home. I'm gonna go back into the shower with my body wash, loofah, and get everything off. I'm also gonna use my facial cleanser because I probably did get a lot of sweat on my face. Once I'm out of the shower, I make sure I apply some of my sunscreen moisturizer and then my body moisturizer. Now, if your training's at night or really early in the morning, you're gonna wanna apply the same principles, but just put them around your time frame. If I know that I'm going out at any point, I'm just gonna apply some sunblock to whatever body parts are showing. All right, finally, we're about to go to bed, and this is where we need to make sure that we're doing something different. We're gonna take some warm water, 
rinse our face with our face cleanser and this is where if it's my days I will use my exfoliant and that's at night. Once we've done that now we apply our other moisturizer. The reason I apply this one at night is because it's a little bit heavier. You have about eight hours of sleep you have to get through and your skin's gonna eat up all that moisture. If you're interested in keeping clean skin and just being a healthier person overall, which I think most of us that are doing jujitsu wanna do that, I promise that these steps are gonna help you improve in those areas. It might seem like kind of a joke to do a skincare routine as a jujitsu athlete or whatever, but it's super important and once you're not a jiu-jitsu athlete anymore, you don't want to just be hella ugly. Also with the rise of steroids, you're going to start to see a rise of acne, which means a rise of oily skin and hormones that aren't totally correct. So if you are one of those people, this may be a way for you to kind of improve that. 